Welcome back guys to Jay-Z Fishing and today's uh, video is going to be kind of an instructional video um, on how to clean your fishing gear. Uh, specifically I'm going to be cleaning my rods and my reels today and uh, these are the rods and reels that I recently took on my most uh, so recent saltwater trip and uh, if you know anything about saltwater you like to use bait and uh, there's lots of squid juice and anchovy juice and I think you can see that there are like scales and stuff on the uh, spinning rod and uh, and I think it would this is a good time for me to kind of show you guys how I clean my gear uh, to make it first of all look good and smell good um, so yeah let's get into it come on now man how can you not be subscribed make sure to subscribe turn on that bell make sure to hit all and please like the video thank you you know one question I get asked a lot is how frequently do I clean my gear and that answer really depends on how often you go fishing uh, for me, I like to go about once or twice a week um, on most days, unless it's summer, then I like to go more. Uh, but on usually, I like to clean it about maybe once a month and, and during summer, once or twice. Um, it all depends really on how frequently you go fishing, fishing and how, how frequently you want to clean your gear. Uh, but for me, I like to go once a month and do it once a month. All right, before we do any washing, uh, I'm going to kind of show you guys what I use to wash my gear. So first of all, I got little red bucket here I don't know how big it is uh, and I got warm soapy water the soap that I'm using is seventh generation dish soap that's all you need um, and then I've got a little bit of a toothbrush here you'll see why I use that in a minute and I've got this uh, little rag which I can actually put on my hand it's used for uh, washing cars but you can also use it for fishing rods um, and I like this one because I can kind of use like, pretend like my hand is like the cloth and kind of get in some of these these gears uh, in the rod a little bit better um, and then obviously you need your rod, and um, I'm going to be using this uh, hose right here to kind of hose everything down uh, when it's all soapy. Alright, the first thing that you're going to want to do is uh, hose down all of your rods. So I'm going to take this one, and I'm on the shower function, and I'm just going to hose it down. And I can wash these things off with the rigs on. Um, I, I, it doesn't really matter to me uh, whether you have a lure uh, rig on or not. I just wash it anyways. It's one. Um, it's just a quick hose. Doesn't need to. Doesn't need to take off all the dirt. You're just getting the rod and reel wet. Right, now once you have done that, you're gonna take your soapy bucket of water, you're gonna take your rag, you're gonna dip it in the water, and you're literally just gonna go up and down the rod with the soap. So you're gonna get all the little cracks, everything, um, and make sure that that rod is really soapy. I'm gonna do that right now, and then I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna skip ahead, and uh, I'm gonna show you what that looks like when it's done. All right, now that your rod is all soapy and, uh, uh, and all soapy, you're gonna wanna take your hose and literally just wash it down. Make sure you get all that soap out, right? It's not that hard. You should immediately see that it shines a lot better than it did before, right? And especially when you're washing it down, make sure you're especially getting inside that reel because you don't want any soap in there. All right, now that that's done, you're gonna wanna get your toothbrush, just get some soap on it, and literally just find those tiny little bits on your rod and reel, those tiny little places that are a little bit hard to get with that big old thing of, uh, the big old scrubber thingy and just rub, just get it all. So that means hooks, maybe weights, little gears, get all that good stuff with that uh, toothbrush. And then uh, one other thing too is if, there's, if you're just going through the rod and you're, and you're, you're making, doing like a double check to make sure everything is clean, you just see something, hey, not clean, just take the toothbrush, wipe it down, 
Uh, and so you're gonna wanna just, you know, look around. One thing that I like to do is just take the uh, toothbrush, kind of stick it in this eye hole right here, get any seaweed that may be on there. Slowly move up, because these eye holes, you really wanna keep them uh, clean. So using this toothbrush is an extremely good way to keep them clean. Right, because you want to have your rods in, a, in their best shape, and so if they're clean, that's that's their they're at their best. Once you finish everything with the toothbrush, put the toothbrush down, grab your hose, and just hose it down. All And bam, there you go. Your rod is now clean. Now it is still uh, very wet. So what you wanna do is put it in a safe, dry place. Uh, for me, that's going to be this area right here. There's not much dirt. I'm just gonna lay it down just like that. And uh, set it there for about an hour. Uh, come back out and then check on it. So I'm gonna clean my other rods, set an hour timer, and come back out and see what it's like. Right, if we go back outside and we check out how the rods have been doing. If you can tell that they're all dry, they're a little bit maybe wet, but uh, you can already tell that they are a lot cleaner, um, especially this one. Um, it's looking very shiny. Uh, yeah, so that worked out really, really well. All the rods are now clean. Um, and they don't smell as bad. Uh, obviously, you can't smell it through the video, but I'm telling you, they smell a lot better. Um, this method works very well. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and hit subscribe because we are doing a giveaway at 100 subscribers. So help be one of those first 100.